here. Everyone is washing their hands and getting ready for the production line. So they've all washed their hands up to their elbows and then rubbed alcohol all over their arms and hands to sterilize themselves. So here are the big pots uh, where straw has been cooking for two hours. They had weights put on top, bricks and rocks and stones to keep the straw down in the water. And the idea of this is that is to kill any bacteria or fungus or spores that might be in the straw that will compete with the mushrooms that they're trying to grow. So here we have this production table. Everyone has got sterile hands and they've got bags and they are tying the bottom of the bag off so that uh, it goes into a cone shape at the bottom. And this is to get the ideal shape of the bag for uh, growing the mushrooms. With the bags, you have to try and keep them as sterile as you can, keeping them shut. And uh, not putting your hands in them, not breathing in them to open them up, not shaking them. It's all about a sterile environment in the jungle. Which is almost impossible. So the table has been cleared and cleaned. Barry has got some straw ready to go. Letting it cool down a bit. Now the cow is being added to the straw and then they'll mix it up to get it through the straw before they start packing it in their bag. So here we have got the production line going. Juan on the left is packing the straw which is now cooled down a little bit. It's had a uh, couple of handfuls of cow mixing with it and they're uh, basically making a bed for the mycelium and they're going to pack it in and then they're going to sprinkle the mycelium in and then do another layer of the straw and as they go now it's very quiet at the moment I'm probably the only one talking and that's because Everyone at the production table is being told to not speak to help reduce the risk of breathing unwanted bacteria over the uh, pasteurized straw to try and make it as friendly as possible for the mushrooms to grow. So we've got Juan, and then Catalina, and then Jose in the light blue, and then Fidel in the end. And Edminio is leaning against the tree up there on the left, and we have Epifanio in the hat, and we've got um, a whole lot of other people from the community coming. So here the bags have had straw put in them with the mycelium uh, mixed in, and as much air as possible has been squeezed out of the bags and then tied up. So this is all the straw, this is the last of the bags <coughs> and they will now store them into a dark room for the mycelium to start growing and reproducing. So here we have under Catalina's house, they've created a dark room with black plastic and they've built shelves to store the bags of straw and the seeds of the mushrooms. Um, so they've got them stacked up off the ground here. And total we have 19 small bags and three big bags. Uh, they'll stay under here for approximately one month to six weeks and 
the indicator will be I mean, there's lots of the little white uh, right here, the little white mycelium uh, starting to grow. The bag should be full with that. And they come into this room, which they store them in, and they put holes in the bags. And the mushrooms grow out of the holes and cover the outside of the bag. Uh, and this here will then be one month to six weeks approximately for the mushrooms to grow. And that will produce 30 to 40 kgs. The families can use this for consumption or they can uh, sell it in the markets. It's a good option for the families and we'll see how Katharina gets on, we'll do another update with them at the next stage.